Hey everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Daniel Coffeen. I'm a captain in the United States Army. And in this video, I'm gonna take you through a typical day in the life of an officer. I wanna say thank you for clicking on the video and a big thank you to Sergeant Hill for featuring me on her channel. We're gonna have fun today. Let's go do it. What's up, Daniel? <laughs> My name is Daniel Coffeen and I'm in the Army. Fitness is my passion, but I love food. Welcome to my life. What is up everyone? It is 6.16. I got about 15 minutes until I have morning PT formation. You're probably wondering why I'm not in my PT uniform. Well, let me tell you this little thing about officers. So we are really, really good at overwatch and kind of managing expectations. Let me tell you what we are really bad at. We are really bad at actual execution. Hence, the need for non-commissioned officers like Sergeant Hill. So, you're gonna see my unit getting ready to do PT. I I am going to provide overwatch, make sure that they're doing the right thing, and then I'm gonna go to the gym. All right, let's go see where these guys are at. Okay, so I just got here to my Italian gym, so let's get to it. Okay, so after my workout, first thing I do, I go to my car, grab all my crap, and I'm gonna go up to my office and check my email. Bam. Stand-up desk, always essential. Fidget spinner, even more essential. Okay, so this is basically how I run my life, is Outlook. Um, emails are all checked, I'm all caught up on everything. Now I'm gonna go shower, put on my uniform, and get presentable. One of the first rules of being an officer, you must always be odor free, highly moisturized, and smell nice. All right, what's up guys? Just got back to the office, showered up, and work call is usually around nine o'clock. It is 9.05 right now. The first thing I have to do this morning is actually go down to see our brigade legal office because I'm getting my legal review on an investigation that I conducted last month. I was an investigating officer, which is an additional duty, so it's not my primary job, I'm not a lawyer. This is just an additional duty that the Army appoints officers to do. And then I can come back here and get to my actual job, which is the Battalion S3, which is the Operation Section Chief, which is a pretty demanding job. So, so before you can actually start your morning, you have to first grab some coffee and then BS around the coffee machine with your warrant officers. We're talking about rockets in Afghanistan. You notice his last name, we usually just drop the N off because he's the only one authorized to operate the coffee maker here. And I'm the youngest. To turn in all the following munitions as amnesty. This legal review is literally taking forever and it's a billion degrees in this office. Okay guys, so finally back from that legal review, which took forever, and my day can finally start. I can finally start doing what my actual job is. Like I said before, I'm the battalion S3, so I run all the operations for this battalion. And this battalion is a BSB, or a Brigade Support Battalion. Basically, my day consists of a lot of this. I do a lot of meetings. We have a really big meeting today, so that's what I'm gonna be doing right now pretty much all the way through lunch didn't even eat breakfast well I guess I totally guess I kind of day we have a training meeting every single week and I'm in charge of putting those slides together and briefing the train to the commander that is my job as the battalion s3 I am the commander's go-to person when it comes to all things training 
Now, I know I said I was gonna work through lunch on those training meeting slides, but I just got a call from my wife who works here at this hospital, and she has a free lunch hour. And so I'm gonna go eat lunch with her. I know I said I was gonna be working through lunch. I felt like this was a good opportunity for me to come and invest in my relationship with my wife. You know, the Army tells us that relationships are important. All too often, they get neglected, and so I'm gonna make sure that doesn't happen with my relationship with Jessica, my wife. So we're gonna go in here, and we're gonna go have some lunch together. Hi. How's it going? Because you're at work. You're pretty. A couple different things came up. I got pulled in a couple different directions and I had to pass it off to my NCOs. So, speaking of NCOs, let's go meet those guys. Name, position, spirit animal. My Heath, uh, S3 NCO. American, American Eagle. Fast on show, Michael Simmons, one each. <laughs> I'm going out of, I'm the only one in the military, honestly, it's a true statement. What don't we do in the S3 is, is, is a better, uh, is a better question. Hey, sorry, first class Hoffmeister, I'm kind of a big deal, you probably heard of me. If not, you will. <laughs> I work in the S3 shop, my spirit animal's probably going to be like a guinea pig or something. <laughs> but not too big. Air Pro! What about pencils? I had to leave that meeting early, and now I gotta go to this medical meeting because not only am I the battalion S3, but I'm also the battalion medical officer. Scott, do you have a way ahead for Sergeant Scott for the MRC? All done with the medical meeting. Now I just got notified that if I don't update my anti terrorism level one training by tomorrow, then I have to come in on Saturday to complete it. Coordinating a location for a ceremony we're having next month. Good evening. Good evening. Your call is being transferred. Hello, my name is Daniel Coffeen, and I'm calling in regards to scheduling an event. Today is finally over. It's been quite a long day, but it's been a fairly accurate representation of what a day is like from an officer's perspective. Like I said earlier this morning, I'm a primary staff officer, so I do a lot of staff stuff. Emails, PowerPoint, meetings, phone calls, video teleconferencing. I do it all. This is probably my favorite part of the day, and that is going home to my wife, who you all will meet here in a second. home. Hi, honey. Hi. So that basically concludes my day. Now, being an officer is great. It's fun and adventurous. Maybe not as adventurous as what Sergeant Hill is doing. Everything changes with every different assignment that you get. If any of you are interested in becoming an officer, I have tons of videos on my YouTube channel about commissioning, about being an officer, especially in the Medical Service Corps. So if you guys have any questions on that, feel free to contact me. I would be more than happy to answer your question. Thank you again, Sergeant Hill, for having me on the channel. It's been really fun. I want to give a big shout out and a thank you to Captain Coffin for doing this video, for taking us around his whole day and how he usually runs his day. So this kind of video was a, was kind of a few months ago. I asked him to make this video and he did it. And it took me a little while to actually edit it and get it ready and just put it out for you guys. And finally it is out. So, so if you guys have any questions, go ahead to his YouTube channel down here below. Go ahead and subscribe to him. I know he hasn't been made making um, videos recently so he told me the best way to get in contact with him if you guys do want to get in contact with him with any questions about the officer your life or any questions towards him and what he does the best way to contact him is his Instagram right here or down on the description bottom below go ahead and follow him and go ahead and tell him that you guys are coming to him from me but I hope you guys enjoyed this video there's gonna be more videos like this from other other military members so I hope you guys enjoyed this video so I'll see you guys in the next one peace